had a great day today. So, uh, you can't see this. I wish you could. But behind me, let me see. Down the row of lights. Let's go deeper towards, let's say that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Around the ninth light. If you go up, that's the moon and it's purple. So this would be light one, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get that. Ooh. There it goes. You see that? Bam. That's the moon out. Look how low that moon is. Pretty amazing. It's like one little move with your hand. It almost feels like you can walk to the moon and it's that close. I have a P900 camera, I will show you some amazing shots that I've taken. Um, also, right above me is, uh, let's see if we can see it. Okay, let's see. This is the total blackness. Let's see. Yeah, well, what, you, what I see is the Big Dipper, and it's almost as if I can touch the sky. And I am in one of New York's gifts. I always say New York has a lot of gifts. There's so many gifts every time you turn around in this city. And if you look behind me, that right there is a train station. And there is a train on its way into the station. Yeah, I gotta get used to this camera. There you go. And that train takes people from the big city all the way to the Rockaways. And the Rockaways is a place that has the most incredible beaches. Crystal clear waters. You look down, you can see your toes. Not a problem. It's not just in Florida, in the Caribbean. New York, they've spent so many billions of dollars to regulate these ships that come in. Like all these lights in the distance, those lights there. Those are all ships waiting to dock. And on those ships, there are many dreams. I hope I wasn't covering the microphone just now. But I'm standing up underneath the most amazing sky all alone. There's no one out here. But it wasn't until I turned this camera on that I start to feel a little bit like, I don't know, safe. And I guess when you're like a loner like myself, a little bit of a recluse, you know, you find that very interesting. And you ponder on those kind of things. I just gotta show you the moon again. It's just so magnificent. It's like I can walk down this boardwalk and see the moon. Look at that. Look at that. How magnificent is this moon? Well, back to normal. <laughs> I guess this is where the fasting 
all began for me this summer. You know? Taking the 1962 Winnebago and parking it a block away from the beach and getting to see things like this every night. You know, this is so close. Look at that. New York's gifts. And where I stand is one of New York's gifts. This is um, the moon right here. That's that moon right there. And it's these gifts that keep on giving that I am... Um, You know, I guess I don't know. When you're standing on the boardwalk like this all by yourself and no one comes by for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and you're looking up at the sky. And you're listening to the waves come crashing in. But something happens. I find myself afraid to stand over to the edge. I have this fear that something is going to come out of that darkness. And jump up. At me. And when I turned on the camera. I honestly felt a little bit safe. How insane is that? How powerful is this camera very because I've have not even sat down on a nice comfortable chair and listen to the waves come in while I look up there and I ponder on that like I normally do it just amazes me how it wasn't until I put on the camera that I felt safe and I didn't feel like the boogeyman was going to come out necessarily. But why am I instinctively, I believe, afraid to be alone? Why am I instinctively afraid to sit down on this bench and just watch the waves come in and look up at the beautiful sky and look at the stars that look like they're literally shorter than the Empire State Building would appear to be taller than this sky is presently. And why is that? Why am I fearful of nature? This reminds me of that Truman show. How they did all these things to have him conditioned to have a fear of flying so that he would never leave. And, you know, he was awakened. And after being awake, he couldn't go back to sleep. And he pretended to be asleep in order to make the great escape. But they was always watching. They were always looking. And, you know, it showed that you know, capitalism has no moral base. And the bottom line is, viewing his death would have been, you know, a, a rating success. But is my natural fear of walking to the edge of this and looking over and listening to the waters um, I've been told all my life that this is like a beautiful thing. This is what you listen to. You hear this. It's so relaxing. But yeah, go ahead. Let me see you walk over to the edge. Let me see you walk down the stairs on the sand in the dark. How do you free your mind from all that has been fed to you all of your life? How do you do that? How do you think outside of yourself and say, you know what? I'm not going to be afraid. I am going to move forward fearlessly. It wasn't until I put on the camera that I'm this close to the actual pole. 
see? That's my shadow. And that's the water. And what is it that's being look at this plane coming in so low. Let's see if we can capture that. Somewhere like someone look, that's the airport is going to the look right by the moon. Plane in the moon, look at that. How amazing. How amazing is that? So, thank you for checking out my channel, being on this journey with me. Look, I'm totally looking like this athletic guy who's like, you know, but no, no, not at all. Look at all that. Whew. But it's okay. This is just the before pictures. You know? I have on some pattern. 3X. It's a part of me that says I should be jogging, but those thoughts are not real. Those thoughts are just. I'm not gonna let them, you know mess with me in any way but you know I'm where I'm supposed to be <laughs> how can I be here in this situation with you now and feel that I in any way shape or form should be considering somewhere else I should be I'm at the, I'm at the best place ever and that's present right here right now and not allowing thoughts to take away from how lucky I truly am I, how amazing is this opportunity that I'm given this life you know you know this life is so worth living it's so worth living in a healthy environment where I'm not going to be you know, worried about how I look. Am I being too vain? Am I... No, I don't think I am. I think I'm... I think I'm just a person. I think I'm human. And I'm glad that you're here with me, making me feel as safe as I do, because... This journey is not going to always be a beach and stars, you know? This, this journey is not going to always have the brightest side to th look at things when those thoughts start really, you know, going in on you and making you feel like maybe, you know, you're not the amazing person that you know you are the amazing person that you you know is there and it's always been there and you've been tricked by the weight the weight has tricked you into believing that you know maybe you're just not on your game maybe you just don't got what it takes you have no self control look at you you know better and you just beat yourself up and, you know, I'm here to say that those days for me are over. Uh -huh, there's a star behind me right there. Look at that. How bright is that star? Let me see if I can get any other ones. Look at that one. Twinkling. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder where you are. Da, 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 da. Look how amazing that is. I feel like just going to over the moon. I'm like gaga over this moon right now. Look at that. Bam. Look at that. I am just fortunate 
That's how I feel. I feel fortunate. I feel... I'm thankful. You know? I'm getting my... Getting more laces in my sneakers. You know, I can throw on a jacket from two years ago. And... You know, and I can just be present right here, right now, in this moment. And I'm thankful that you're here with me. Because it made me feel safe and it made me feel cool. You know? How you doing? He doesn't want to talk. I'm going to ask him how long he's been walking this boardwalk. Well, it's no longer a boardwalk. It's a... It's a broad walk, but it's no longer wooden. No more wooden. Oh, that storm that hit the city was no joke, man. But look what happened afterwards. You know? We will rebuild. Look at these stars. Look at these stars. Wow. to take that moment and just look up. Don't be afraid. Fear ain't real. That's what I tell my children. Fear is not real. Don't be afraid. Be present. Be strong. And you understand that uh only thing that fear is fear itself.
Whoa, sorry about that. That's this guy. I don't know if you can see that. It's a pretty good song. Do I drive through this without any real fears? But I can't walk to the edge of an ocean. Huh? How's that real? How is that real? I can drive all through this at night, no fears. But walking to the edge of that ocean looking up at the stars, taking a moment, being present, so difficult. But this, what is it? Is it the calm that I'm afraid of? What is it? Because I'm like, welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. We got everything you want. We play the games. So, you know, I can drive through the dark on the sand roads where vegetation is growing and people are illegally dumping. I can do all that, but just looking over the edge of the pier there's a there's a there's a this fear I got it wish I did get it but I don't get it help me get it let's let's make this part of our journey here so that we can put ourselves in these positions where we can think Ponder because I was reading something years ago where Stalin said that the world did not need any more philosophers. spending the night because I will be cooking for my clients in the AM so bam this is where I will be tonight boondocking it's true I'm doing that my clients are two miles away and I will be there early in the morning to cook them there meals and I don't have to worry about commuting so I need to get some shut eye thank you for being on this journey with me I believe it's the 25th of October and it's about 4 5 30 in the morning Yeah, 4.35 in the morning. And breakfast will be served at 6.45. On the dock. And I am thankful. Boom.